Trolls World Tour. I believe it uh, either came out or didn't come out before all the theaters were closed. I think it either dropped in like the weekend after all the movie theaters shut down. Uh, that does not stop the fact that one, the first Trolls was a great movie. I have not watched the second Trolls yet, but Pure did a collab with them when the first movie dropped. I do have that palette. I meant to grab it, but I will go grab it after we finish filming and Nikki can do like a nice pretty pan of it. And you guys can see what that one looks like. So you have a reference, but they do have a, a nice little collection going on. And now with a new movie coming out, they released a whole new collection. And let me tell you, it's pretty friggin' magical. So I've been looking at it for a while. It's been out, I think I got an email about it like a week ago, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, let's call it two weeks ago. Um, and I was looking at it and I was like, I should buy that. I really should buy that. A lot of cool palettes, a lot of cool things. The coolest packaging ever. I mean, this is the bundle set really cool. Definitely like it a lot, but I was kind of like, I don't know. It's $98 for the whole collection. That's kind of steep. Uh, do I need it? I'm trying to be good. Then Memorial Day came and all bets were off. Let me tell y'all, I did not give a single F the whole weekend. I said, oh, that's on sale. I'm gonna buy it. Oh, that's on sale. I'm gonna buy it. I spent so much money. It's terrible. Lots of hauls coming. Very bad for my credit card. Anyway, not talking about that right now. So this and this, Basically, Pierre said, we're gonna do a pay scale, gradient scale. The more you're willing to pay, the more we're willing to give you in discounts, which I was like, all right, what's the max I can get? They said, you spend over $100, you get 35% off. I said, okay, bet. Uh, this was $98, which means I had to find something else to do to get myself over that uh, that little hump to get the 100 so I could get 35% off rather than 30. I found this guy, he was on sale. I had looked at him at Ulta and uh, they sold out before I had a chance to buy him. I think he was definitely a little bit more expensive uh, on Pierre's website than he was at Ulta when I was looking at him. I believe he was like $22 is what I paid for him. But with this and this and 35% off, with tax and everything included, shipping was free, all that good stuff, I paid $76. Considering this bundle set is $98 retail, I was very happy with that price. But uh, we'll start with this one because this is the focus is gonna be the troll thing, but this is really freaking cool too. So this isn't new. This is something I think they've had out for a while because they've got it on sale. So I think they're trying to like get rid of it. But this is the pure out of the blue uh, palette. Really pretty colors in it. There's a lot of neutrals and then one really beautiful like shimmery blue shade and one gorgeous, I mean, absolute gorgeous like ice crystal shimmer shade. That's what he looks like, love it. But then after I had ordered it, I was like looking at my receipt and I realized, I think this thing lights up. And then I got it and I had forgot that I realized that. And then I got it and are you kidding me? It literally has like an LED mirror in it, which I don't know how useful it is. I, I am very excited to test it out to see how the mirror actually works. One, I think it's a brilliant idea for like when you're traveling, like if you're out of town, not that anybody's really traveling right now, but if you're out of town and you're like, I don't really have a great mirror or my lighting is terrible because all hotel lighting is not good. You just be like, oh wait, I brought this palette and like, looky there, look, I got my own like little studio set up right in my hand. It's brilliant, it's brilliant, I love it. That's the way of the future in my opinion and they're they're out here, Pierre's out here forging away. So if, if you guys haven't heard me talk about Pierre before, I really love Pierre. So um, I love, they put out cool stuff like this all the time. I think it's brilliant, but all right, let's get into the meat of this. So this, is the Trolls, the Pure Times Trolls World, World Tour, I can't talk, it's like a giant tongue twister, World Tour Bundle Set. And when you open it up, they are little records. So adorable, so freaking cute. I will say, the one downside to it is it, absolutely there's a lot of waste with this packaging. Now, if you're planning on buying it and throwing away the packaging, then I, not great. I'm a hoarder, more or less, I'm, I've, I'm a hoarder with OCD. So I like, I don't let it get bad. I keep it organized, but I save a lot of things I probably don't need to. Um, so hoarder is probably the wrong word. It just, I like to collect things. Maybe I'm more like the little mermaid. Maybe that's a nicer way to put it. I will definitely be saving this because the whole reason, the whole incentive to buy it all together, rather than buying them separately and just picking out the few pieces that I wanted really badly was to get the bundle set all together. So it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six eyeshadow palettes, a lip gloss and a face palette. Now at the same time, Ulta puts the Trolls collection in on, on their website on sale. And I think each one of the palettes was on sale for like $12. Basically with everything you got with this, the $76 I paid, plus I got a whole extra palette is 
a way better deal. So I was very excited that that is what I wound up getting for it. I've, I've talked a lot. Let's look at these palettes. The first thing, this one is not labeled. This is the face palette. It does come with a lip gloss. All right, so we got the Pure Times Trolls lip gloss, really pretty. I love, everything's like a shimmery metallic and I just love that. And I'm not a huge lip gloss fan. I don't like anything that's sticky, but it is a really nice, pretty pink color. And I think it would do really well over a lot of different lipsticks. Tangent, if you're wondering about my crazy makeup, I did buy the Stupid Love palette from Haas Laboratories, which is Lady Gaga's uh, makeup line. And I tried to replicate one of her promo pictures. So that's why I look like this currently. So if you wanna watch that, I'm sure you guys can go watch that one too, but that's just why my face looks like this in today. So the face palette, Comes with a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. They are all really shimmery, like probably more shimmery than I would typically choose for my bronzer or my blush, but really gorgeous colors. And I'm thinking for this particular collection, the best way to do it is if I just go ahead and say, let's go ahead and review each palette and let's theme it up. Like I'm all for themes. I like dressing up. So let's theme it up. And you guys, as I show you them, will understand more what I'm talking about. Now the next ones are all the eyeshadow palettes and they are based off each one of the, uh, the music genres that are featured in the film. So of course the first one we've got is pop. We pull it out, the little record looks like this. It is pink. And so naturally the palette is pink based. And so now that you guys kind of understand what the theme of the, the bundle is, the themes of the video will be, I will choose to use the pink palette and it, my theme will be pop and I will dress like a pop star and we'll do like a whole fashion show type thing with it. And if that interests you, please let me know in the comments because I don't want to like make a whole bunch of content that you guys don't care about. But. I figure that's the best way to feature these palettes. So those are what the colors are in this particular one. I think it's lovely. Um, they are tinier palettes, obviously. I mean, we were looking at $12 retail value uh, on sale. That's on sale at Ulta. I think they're normally like 18 or 20 full price. When you think about it, you got all of them for less than, they were like 60 bucks for the whole set. So I was, I was pretty happy with it. But I really like the gold glimmer shade in the, the center. I really like this vibrant pink shade. You've got like a nice kind of matte peach shade. There's a nice little matte um, dark brown shade. There's just a, there's a lot to work with in each one of these palettes, even though they're tiny, which I can really appreciate. All right, next one in the bundle set is Rock. I'm gonna be honest, this is the one I am most excited about, even though I don't really like doing black eyeliner uh, or black eyeshadow because uh, <laughs> I have a lot of Rock t-shirts and outfits and things that would work for it. So that's more of my aesthetic, but I love this palette. Yes, it is black, but there are so many cool things with it. Like, you've got black as like one of the key ones. You've got this really cool red. You have a really nice tan blending shade. These two are gorgeous, what I would call like highlighting shades, like especially inner corner and your brow. And then you've got this just absolutely gorgeous, like deep metallic glimmer metal gunmetal shade. And I, oh, I'm really looking forward to doing that one. I think we're gonna do them in order, so it'll be the second one. So I'm pretty excited to do, yeah, I like this one a lot. And, it, and it's funny, cause really, if I were buying them separately, I probably would have overlooked it just because like, I very much learned what I like and you've only got, you know, five colors, six, six colors in the, in the eyeshadow palette. And one of them is black and you know, everybody has a black shade in their palettes. It's not to be insensitive or anything like that. It's not that this formula isn't good. It's just like, you can find a black eyeshadow anywhere. So I probably would have been like, I'm not sure I'm gonna buy that, but I really am excited to do that one. So the next one we've got going on is Techno. Techno is blue tinted and the palette himself looks like that. And now tell me that there's not a lot of cool stuff you can do with this one. Even if it's not something you're comfortable with, like, oh, two really great teal shades. You've got a matte and a glimmer. You've got two, what I would call really great green shades. You've got like this kind of like olive -y gold uh, green glitter shade. And then you've got this really nice lime. You've got this gorgeous, like deep royal blue shimmer. And then you've got a nice, like kind of subtle, like what I would call your outer crease shade. I have no idea how to dress techno. If you have tips for that, please help me because I Googled it and like, I got a bunch of Pinterest boards and they were all just like full black. And I was like, I felt like techno is like a lot of like eccentric colors and like, you know, really cool stuff, but I've also never been to a rave. So, you know, maybe that's just me living a sheltered life. And, but if you have any tips for what, if I were to ever go raving, I should wear, and therefore would might work with this techno palette, then I would love, I would love for you to give me some tips in the comments. Cause that one's going to be a little bit challenging outfit wise. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I, I'm excited, but I'm also a little terrified. Uh, next one we've got is funk, which is purple themed. And that should be interesting as well. I mean, I obviously know kind of what funk would look like in terms of like the outfits. I'm just not sure I have like anything that's gonna fit with it. 
necessarily. I'm thinking like, you know, bell bottoms and like kind of the groovy psychedelic 70s vibe. But all right, so we got funk, it's purple. Honestly, it's, this is one of my least favorite ones if I'm just being 100% honest. It's very basic for purple. Um, I've got a lot of really great purple palettes out there. So it's kind of, it's one of those like, I. I think it's a pretty palette. Um, I'm happy that I have it, but it's not necessarily if I were going to buy them separately, I would go for that one. I may be wrong. I may try it on my eyes and be like, holy crap, I'm transcended. I, this is, I, I see the way now and this palette was the best of the whole thing. But I just, you know, when you look at all the other really cool, unique colors, that just seems like it's kind of like, mm, it's just a purple palette, like with very little purple in it, if I'm being honest, but. That's just kind of the, the vibe I got from it. The next one we have is Classical. And Classical is very gorgeous if you're looking for just a nice neutral palette. It's really cute. It's just got this nice little warm brown feel to it. I can't get it out of the box, my God. It's like it's glued inside. Classical, Classical. And the palette itself looks like and like I said, it is a very basic little brown toned shade palette, but like you've got a good range of mattes. And then you have what I would call three gorgeous shimmers. This one in particular is like a rose gold. And I've, I don't know if there, I have so many palettes. And guys, like when I say I have so many palettes, I mean like we're buying a house and the whole room is gonna be dedicated to my makeup and filming, but it's mainly it's gonna be for my makeup storage. And I don't know if I have a shade in any other palette. There's not one that I can think of that I'm like, oh, that one probably has a shade similar to that, or that one might kind of overstep or be similar or be a dupe for that particular shade. It's just really, like that was one when I opened up the palette, like all the other shades didn't really matter. I was kind of like, just for that one shade, it's worth it. So I, I'm i excited to try Classical out as well, just because I think that it's going to be in, insanely gorgeous. All right, down to the last one, the final one. This is our Country Western palette. This one is kind of cool too. My mom, I showed my mom when I got them because I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited. So I was like unbox my stuff with her so she can see because she's like one of the only people who really appreciates it too because she's like, oh, pretty makeup, yay. So I unbox it with her and she was like, I don't really get a country Western vibe from it, but it's pretty. And like, I kind of get what she's saying. I can see it because there's a lot of copper tones. And so I understand like you, you looking at like browns, but you want it to be kind of a unique brown scheme. So I really like what's going on here. They've got a really pretty mustard that it's got like shimmer, but it's not glitter. You've got this one really pretty pink glitter shade. And then you've got a lot of nice, what I would call mattes that could make a good eye look. So I'm so excited excited to, to do this series. I really debate about it and I, I pitched it to Nikki and I was like, this is kind of what I'm thinking. Like, let's do an eye look and a, a, like a whole outfit look with each one of these themes. And he was like, yeah, let's do it. Especially since it's a newer collection, there may not be a lot of people who have it. And if there are people who are looking for um, deep reviews, especially since you don't have to buy it as a bundle set. If you like one of the palettes that I do, but you hate all the rest, then you can buy that one palette and save yourself 70 bucks. Yeah, like absolutely. I wanna make sure that you guys get a full review and I can tell you which ones I like the best. You can see what I can do with them and hopefully get an idea of what you can do with them. The last thing I will, before we, we finish this off, cause I know I've been talking for a hot minute. I did get some like free sample stuff. Um, um, if you bought anything in the Trolls collection, you got a pop socket that says Pure Times Trolls World Tour, which like, hell yes, pop socket. Are you kidding me? So my phone's gonna be balling like my face. So like, there's that. And then um, they gave us a couple little samples too. I think if you did any order online, they are very tiny, like little, just the foil packet samples. But I got a Get A Grip Endurance Eyeshadow Primer, the Seratin Serum, which is an age-defying age concentrate, and then the Correcting Primer, uh, which is meant to illuminate and glow on your skin. And I was excited about that because I've really been like, I need to do like a full face of minis and the more samples I have, the easier it will be. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. I'm so excited to uh, to dig into this collection and to really show you guys what the, the possibilities are with it and help you figure out if it's something that's worthwhile for you or not. If you guys think that's useful, definitely let me know in the comments. I would love feedback. I would love for you guys to like, hey, this is a great idea. Or hey, this is like maybe a cool outfit that you could do for this look. Please, any sort of suggestions or ideas you have, let me know. I would love to get some input into it so that way I can um, kind of help shape what the plan is before we start filming. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please 
please give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel out a ton. If you're not a member of the Dark Angel family yet, please join. We would love for you to be part of the family. We are very excited uh, to be continuing to grow and we would love to welcome you into our little YouTube home. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and, uh, and be one of us. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a great day and you stay girly with a dark twist.